All right. So, um, are you ready to dive into this anger management ebook? Yeah, let's get into it. It seems like you've been uh, really digging into this. I have been. And you're ready to tackle this whole like anger emotion head on. Yeah, definitely. And honestly, who isn't? Right. I think we all have those moments where we wish we could handle things a little differently. Absolutely. And um, one of the things I thought was really interesting about this ebook is how it starts by challenging a common misconception. Okay. You know how anger is usually portrayed as a bad thing? Yeah, definitely. Like the This ebook says, no, no, no. Okay. Anger is not the villain here. Really? It's a natural human emotion, just like joy or sadness. Huh. Interesting. We often don't think about it that way, but it's hardwired into our system. Yeah, that's true. For a reason. Okay. Think about it this way. Okay. Anger can actually be a powerful motivator for change. Mm, like yeah. if we see something that is unjust, it can make us angry. Right. And that anger can fuel us to make a change. Yeah. Or if someone's overstepping our boundaries, anger can give us that push to say, hey, back off. It's like a signal. It is. It's a signal. To let us know that something is wrong. Exactly. And it can even feel creative expression. Mm. A lot of artists and musicians use their anger yeah, yeah. as fuel for their art. That's true. So it's not about like pretending we're not going to be angry. It's not about eliminating anger altogether. Yeah. But it's about learning to manage it. Right. So it doesn't become destructive. So we, we don't end up like yelling at our boss or something. Right. Or like slamming doors. And this ebook really doesn't shy away from talking about the consequences not at all of what happens when we don't manage our anger it draws a direct line like what between unchecked anger okay and serious issues in all areas of life like what kind of serious issues because it's not just about like yelling matches or something right so picture this you're in a crucial meeting okay you're giving a presentation, mm -hmm. things are going well, yeah. and then someone throws out a snarky comment that just like sets you off. Yeah. You totally lose, your cool voices rise, oh, no. and suddenly that promotion, yeah. that bridge is thoroughly burned. Ouch. Yeah, nobody wants that. Ooh. So it can really impact our careers and relationships. Absolutely. And the ebook goes even deeper and points to studies that link chronic anger to physical health problems too. Really? Yeah, things like heart disease, and even a weakened immune system. Wow, so it affects like everything. It can, it really can. Our mental state, our physical state, mm. our relationship. It's all connected. Wow, that's a powerful incentive to, I don't know, get a handle on things. It really is. And one of the things I appreciate about this ebook is that it doesn't take a one size fits all approach. Yeah, that makes sense. Because we're not all the same. Not all the same. A toddler throwing a tantrum. Completely different. Is totally different than like a teenager arguing with their parents. Right. So let's start with those little ones because managing anger in children. Yeah. How do you even do that? It's a whole other ball game. So how do you even begin to teach a toddler about anger management? Like you can't exactly sit them down with a self look. <laughs> right. It's not like they're going to be reading Deepak Chopra or anything. Yeah. And even traditional talk therapy. Yeah. Might not be the most effective mm. for that age group. Okay. Because think about it. Okay. Little kids, they haven't developed the language yet. Yeah. To really express what they're feeling. Their emotional vocabulary isn't quite there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of using their words, right. they use their behavior. Yeah. It's like that classic meltdown in the grocery store aisle. Oh, yeah. The tears, the screaming. And we might think, oh, they're just trying to manipulate me. Right. To get that candy. But really, they're just overwhelmed. Yeah. They don't know how to say, hey, I'm overstimulated. Exactly. They don't have the words for that yet. So what do you do? Well, this ebook had some really interesting ideas about that. Okay. It talks about using alternative methods like play therapy. Oh, so instead of saying, use your words, you give them other ways to express themselves. Exactly. Through games and activities. Okay. It could be something as simple as yeah. letting them draw a picture of what's making them angry. Okay. Or you could even do a role-playing game. Oh, that's interesting. Where you practice different ways to handle frustrating situations. Yeah, who will love that, right. right? It's like sneaking in those lessons while they're having fun. Exactly. I like it. So it's not about punishing them for their anger. Right. It's about teaching them healthy ways to express it. That's such a good point. And as kids get older, those methods need to evolve too. Oh, absolutely. Because a teenager is yeah. a whole different ball game. Totally different ball game. Their hormones are raging. Yeah, and the teenage brain... Oh, yeah. Still developing. It's like under construction. Right. And they're dealing with so much social pressure. Oh, yeah. All the social media stuff. And academic expectations. Right. It's a lot. It's no wonder that anger can feel so intense for them.
Yeah, their emotions are just like amplified. Exactly. So what can parents and educators do? Well, this ebook really stresses the importance of self-awareness. Okay, self-awareness. So like helping them understand their triggers. That's exactly it. Okay. Helping them identify yeah. those specific situations or people. Oh, the people. Right, that tend to set them off. So it's like knowing your own personal anger patterns. Exactly. And once you start to recognize those patterns, yeah. you can start to develop coping mechanisms. Oh, okay. I like that. And this ebook has some great ideas. I'm like what? Like sometimes just a simple timeout. Oh, yeah. Not as a punishment, right. but as a way to just hit the pause button. Oh, I love that because you know when you're in the heat of the moment, yeah. you might say something you regret. Exactly. A timeout can prevent that. Yeah, you can cool down, collect your thoughts. And then come back to the situation when you're feeling more level-headed. That's so important. The ebook also talks about finding healthy outlets for anger. Oh, yeah, like what kind of outlets are we talking about? Things like exercise. Oh. Journaling. Mm. Even listening to music. Oh, yeah, music can be really therapeutic. It can. So it's about finding what works for each individual absolutely because what works for one teenager might not work for another and that's true for adults too that's true i was just thinking that this idea of healthy outlets yeah it's not just for teenagers we could all use a little bit of that absolutely no matter how old we are managing anger yeah it's not just about controlling it in the moment right it's about having healthy coping mechanisms for everyday life Exactly. And one thing that came up several times in the ebook yeah. was exercise. Really? I wouldn't have thought of that. What's the connection there? Well, it turns out yeah. that when we exercise, mm -hmm. our brains release endorphins. Oh, those feel-good chemicals. Exactly. Those are the mood boosters. So it's like a natural mood booster. It is. Oh, yeah. And not only that, but exercise also helps reduce cortisol. Which is... The stress hormone. Ah, uh, okay. And as we know, yeah. stress is a major trigger for anger. That's true. So by managing our stress levels, right. we're essentially lowering our susceptibility to anger. Wow, this is like a preventative measure. Exactly. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Yeah, you don't have to be like a marathon runner. Right. Even moderate exercise, yeah, like know. going for a brisk walk, <laughs> or doing some yoga can make a difference. I love that sometimes the simplest solutions. I know. Right. You really are. But as much as we love a good workout. Yes. The ebook also stresses the importance of seeking external support. Okay, so like asking for help when you need it. Exactly. And it emphasizes that asking for help. Yeah. It's not a sign of weakness. Right. It's a sign of strength. It's about recognizing that you don't have to go through it alone. Exactly. Right. Sometimes we need that outside perspective. Yeah, like an objective viewpoint. To help us see things more clearly. Because when you're in it... It's hard to see the forest for the trees. Exactly. And the ebook talks about how valuable yeah. group therapy or support groups can be oh, yeah. for people who are struggling with anger. It's that sense of community, right? Yes. Knowing you're not alone. Yeah, and hearing other people's stories. Exactly. It's so true. And, you know, sometimes we just need other people to remind us that we're not alone absolutely and that it's okay to ask for help it really is and you know this ebook reminds us that yeah there's no shame in seeking professional guidance either no not at all sometimes yeah. we need that objective perspective totally like we were saying and like someone who can help us see the bigger picture yeah and give us some tools and strategies exactly because we don't always have all the answers ourselves we don't and you know this ebook does a great job of giving us a lot of different tools and techniques to try it does it really goes in depth but it doesn't just like throw them at you and say good luck no it doesn't it emphasizes something really important setting realistic goals Oh. Uh, for anger management. Because we can't just expect to never be angry again. Exactly. It's not about becoming some kind of emotionless robot. Right, because that's not realistic. Not at all. Mm -hmm. It's about learning to manage those feelings. Okay. Effectively. Yeah. And responding in a way mm -hmm. that aligns with our values. I love that. So it's more about like... Yeah. Transforming your relationship with anger. Exactly. Than trying to get rid of it completely. It's about recognizing that anger has a purpose. Okay, I like that. Like any emotion, it's a signal mm. that something needs attention. Oh, that's interesting. So it's not about suppressing the anger. Okay. It's about understanding the message behind it. Wow. Okay, that's a good way to think about it. And then responding in a healthy and constructive way. That makes so much sense. It's like if you ignore a check engine light in your yeah. car. Oh, yeah. It's not going to magically fix itself. Right. It might be trying to tell you that something is seriously wrong. 
Exactly. And anger can be like that, too. Wow, that's a great analogy. Sometimes it's a sign that there are deeper issues that need to be addressed. Yeah, like what kind of deeper issues? What could be unresolved trauma hmm. or maybe some underlying mental health conditions. Okay. Things like that. And this ebook does a good job of, you know, not shying away from those more complex topics. It does. It encourages readers to be open to the possibility. Right. That there might be something more going on beneath the surface. Because sometimes it's not just about like learning to not yell. Right. Sometimes it goes deeper than that. Sometimes it's about addressing those root causes. Exactly. And that might involve seeking professional help. Okay. Which is something we've talked about. Yeah. But it's worth repeating. It is. Because there's no shame in asking for help. No, not at all. In fact, it's a sign of strength. It is. It's a sign that you're taking control of your well-being. I love that. And, you know, speaking of taking control. Yeah. There was one more thing I wanted to touch on from the ebook, right. And it really resonated with me because I think it's something that we all struggle with. What's that? Self-compassion. Oh, yes. Being kind to ourselves. That's so important. It is. And the ebook talks about how yeah. we're often so much harder on ourselves. Oh, absolutely. Than we would ever be on anyone else. It's like we have this inner critic. Yes. That's constantly putting us down. Telling us we're not good enough. Right. Or that we should be doing better. And that just makes the anger worse. It, does, it just fuels the cycle. So how do we break that cycle? But the ebook suggests that we need to start treating ourselves yeah with the same kindness and understanding okay that we would offer to a friend because we would never say the things to our friends exactly or you say to ourselves in our heads right so the next time you make a mistake mm -hmm. instead of beating yourself up yeah try to offer yourself some compassion it's like giving yourself a break yeah recognizing yeah. that you're human we all make mistakes we do and that's okay it's how we learn and grow i love that message and you know I think that's the perfect note to end on. It really is. This ebook has given us so much to think about. It has. It's packed with insights. And practical strategies uh, sure. for understanding and managing anger. And hopefully mm. our listeners feel empowered yeah. to take control of their own anger management journeys. Absolutely. Mm. Because the real work starts now, right? It does. It's about taking what we've learned yeah. and putting it into practice. So to all our listeners out there, yes, keep diving deep, keep exploring and keep learning. And most importantly, yeah, be kind to yourselves. Beautifully said until next time.